and as you can see, so everything everything's quite playable. The other thing I done was change the text size here in the text screen. I'll just show you that. If you if you right click on your uh, your interface, you can actually change the the font size. I set it on 18 points, so it makes it a bit easier to read. Um, if we look at the actual option menu under video options. So what I've done, I've set it by 1000 by 600 resolution there. The one underneath that is 800 by 600. Um, there, there is an issue with 800 by 600 where it cuts off the top of the screen, but 1000 by 600 works perfectly. It's a default resolution in the game. Another default option in the game is window mode and borderless uh, and maximize. Maximize basically means it cuts out the border of the window so you don't see Windows XP's uh, menu bar and all down there. So you just have those two options checked. 60 hertz. Um, I've set it on the uh, the minimum bitrate. I know I haven't. Oh, there we go. It actually probably increased performance a little bit better, but it's 24-bit uh, colors at the moment. We'll, we'll leave it there. It's uh, it's performing okay. Everything else I've just set to low. Um, I'm not I'm not um, going to expect anything more. To be honest with you, I did not expect the game to perform as good as it's performing right here now. Um, so what we'll do? I'm gonna I was gonna just show you. Uh, we'll turn to game. I will, I will use my uh, my hearthstone here, open up my bag, I will just see what, uh, oops, I'll put that down there, I've got to use, so I've used my hearthstone, I'm summoning, uh, summoning myself back to Sathras City, I'm going to pull all over to, uh, to Iron Forge and we'll have a look at the auction house and see what that interface is like, so that's kind of what I'm expecting to do with the game, if I'm going to use it to, uh, to do anything in game. Is a, it's going to be more for auction house stuff. So again, I'll get out my bird. Running over to the centre of the city here in, in Sathras, where all the portals are for uh, for anybody who's not a level uh, level seventy or level sixty plus. Um, you can portal anywhere in the city from, uh, uh, sorry, anywhere in the world from uh, the centre piece here in the centre of the city, which uh, I hope I can find. I'm, I'm over the, the Sarah's area, I think they're called. These guys don't like me, so I don't want to land there. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see where you are because I've got everything minimised as far as view distance and all that type of stuff. So that is a little odd. There's the, uh, the portal area down there. So I'm just going to fly straight down. Terence of Light. Move myself back up again. Yeah, the whole inverted mouse thing is kind of funky for me. But, um... So we're going into the Terence of Light where all the portals are. Uh, yeah, that's a door there. I think. Turn around and go around the blocks here. Yeah, it's moving. I don't know where it's just... Uh, it could be interface lag that's causing the issue with the key speed. Um, it, um, I'm not too sure, but I need to work out a run button. So if I maybe maybe if I try it like that, there we go. So putting my thumb on both keys um, allows me to run and steer at the same time. Okay, that works. There we go. This is a learning experience for me at the same time. So there's all the portals I want to get to. To, uh, to, to actually use the portal, I'll uh, have to put my bird away again. Then I'll use the portal, go over to uh, Iron Forge. Again, loading screen. Uh, load speed is actually quite good. Um, I'm, I'm very surprised, actually. Um, as you can see, it, it loaded through all the graphics pretty quickly. Um, and any second now, I'm going to be in Iron Forge. There we go. Just loaded into Iron Forge. Um, turn around and, and face the right way.
Yeah, I'm quite sure I could set up this to uh, to respond nicely, and it's just a matter of working out the interface and. Um, the other thing I did, uh, I, you may hear the, the fan going flat out here, I turned it right up. With, um, with gaming stuff, um, you really want to turn the, the, any options on the OQO, um, you want to turn up the fan speed all the way, so uh, noise isn't really an issue when you're gaming. So um, You will need headphones though, if you want to do any serious gaming and that, and, and, and listen to stuff, um, I found that the volume on it, isn't anywhere near good enough for, for uh, standard use, so um, a set of headphones don't go astray. Alright, so where we, where we are now is, um, is at the front of uh, Iron Forge Bank area. Uh, the auction house is just over there. There's quite a few people walking around, jumping around. Uh, people don't walk, they jump everywhere, so why? I don't know. But, uh, So we're going up to the auction house here. Talk to the auctioneer, um, and we can we can have a look at um, uh, armor, for instance, cloth armor. It's not something I'd use, but um, just do a search for all the cloth armor. And um, and as you can see, you can read it. Um, it, it, it is very readable. It's not it's not bold in your face, and if you if you're short on sight or if you have any seeing problems, you might have an issue with seeing it. But I have no problems reading everything on the screen there. Um, it's perfectly readable. I could browse through the auction. I can manage my own auctions. I've got a whole heap of stuff up for auction at the moment, saving for my epic mount. So um, I'm not too far off now. But I've got all my stuff up there for auction. I can manage all that and do all that type of stuff, all for my OQO. I don't need to be in my PC. I'm sitting in my, here in my lounge room at the moment. With it on my OQO, doing playing World of Warcraft, it's uh, it's totally cool. Um, next thing I'm going to do on the on the on the OQO, try a couple of real-time strategy games. I've already installed uh, Need for Speed on there and Diablo and stuff like that. The more playable stuff, stuff you might play when you're traveling or on the plane or whatever else, stuff which you don't need internet connections for. But basically, what I really want to do is replace this with my OQO. So not only will I have a portable PC which can surf the internet, do emails, do everything else I can do on my laptop. Uh, you know, on a device that fits in, in my pocket, but I can do all my gaming as well, including World of Warcraft. How cool is that? Um.